In November 2022, the CEO of FTX Exchange, Sam Bankman-Fried, who was the 60th richest man by the world's billionaire's ranking, filed for bankruptcy with over $8 billion in debt, despite having a net worth of about $32.2 billion. One of the largest exchanges in the world, FTX, collapsed this week after a chain reaction set off by a leaked document that raised questions about the company's finances. If you were called the JP Morgan yep. of crypto, yep. does that bother you or did not? It doesn't bother me too much. It poses a great concern as to how the quest for wealth has been a global objective, but unfortunately, only some have achieved this goal and only a few have been able to keep it. A Go Banking Rate survey discovered that over 14 million Americans have over $10,000 in credit card debt. But when is our continuous pursuit of money going to be enough? It raises a serious concern about the nature of money. But in reality, our perspective on money is what matters, which leads us to these questions. What is your attitude towards money? Is it difficult for it to stay within your reach? What do you do to attain it? While this channel is dedicated to answering these questions and tackling topics pertaining to financial literacy, I realize that our perception of money is more important than our ability to make it. What is money? Understanding the nature of money is more important than our ability to generate it, especially when our mindset about money is prejudiced. Society has led us to believe that money is the root of all evil and that rich people are inherently bad. This has prevented us from understanding the true nature and inner workings of money. It's time we changed how we perceive money and understood its framework better. We are taught in high school that money is a medium of exchange that facilitates the payment of services and commodities acquired, a unit of account, and a store of value. But this is different from what money truly represents. Your formal education has made you think that to be rich, you need to study hard, get good grades, get a degree, and get a job that pays a lot. The way money truly works is rarely a topic taught in schools or up for discussion. Many students leave school without a proper understanding of personal finances, business, and investments. The lack of this knowledge has led millions of people into poverty and debt. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, wrote about money and explained that the ultimate goal of building wealth is financial freedom. Robert Kiyosaki in a statement said, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. To be financially free is to do whatever you want, whenever you want, because money is not an obstacle. It means that our ultimate goal should be financial freedom. Many people have the notion that being rich and being wealthy are the same, but they are both different. The rich have lots of money, but they also tend to have many expenses. The more money they get, the bigger their expenses are. The current state of the economy has shown that they worry about being able to pay for their spending and debts. They seek higher paying jobs to keep up, while the wealthy don't have to worry about expenses or money. It's because they understand how money works. Money equals value. We often imagine how people drive exotic cars, live in luxury apartments, and acquire their money. Some even think this class of people have scammed the less privileged, but in reality, they created value. Making money requires you to create value. But to someone who lives on a paycheck or is struggling with debt, this means nothing which poses the question about our relationship with money. How is your relationship with money? Whenever you get money, it's because you have created value. Money comes to you when you have offered a service, such as working for an organization, selling commodities, rendering services, etc., which are values that attract money. But just as much as it comes, it also goes. These are the expenses you incur, ranging from paying tax to paying for rent, food, a car, travel, entertainment, etc. To understand your relationship, you need to know your values and consumption metrics, 
It means figuring out how much money your work brings in compared to how much you pay for your expenses. This will help you figure out where your money problem is. Checking the balance between them is important if you want to know how much money has come into your life, how much is left, and how much has been spent or invested. For most, the latter is the problem. Most people tend to spend more and create less. The company Willis Towers Watson did a survey and found out that about 36% of U.S. workers who make more than $100,000 live from paycheck to paycheck. This number went up to 52% for workers who earn $50,000 to $100,000 per year. Anuj Nayar, a financial health officer at Lending Club, explained that being employed isn't enough for American citizens anymore. Wage growth has been less, leaving many consumers with little to hold on to after managing monthly expenses. He also said that consumers are not able to keep up with the pace that inflation is increasing. Although those earning more than 100000 will also seek to make more, regardless, if your spending is way more than your income, you need to rethink and try to find a solution because your relation with money is abnormal. What is the rat race exactly? Do you constantly see yourself working but not making the financial progress you desire? Or are you among the large population of people who live their everyday lives on a paycheck, waiting for the next one? A rat race is a pointless, unpleasant, and self-defeating pursuit to achieve success. In reality, you are nowhere near reaching your goal. It's deceptive and aims to keep you too busy to think about anything else. You are struggling to get a better job than your current one trying to improve your career and being in constant fear because you know that when money enters your hand, it goes away instantly due to increased responsibilities, stretching your financial life thin. It makes you see your job as a necessity rather than a pleasure in order to maintain your standard of living. Pay your mortgage, rent, bills, credit card debt, and other liabilities. That's the actual rat race. Many think increasing their income by seeking high-paying jobs or careers can redeem them from the rat race. But this mindset is flawed. The truth is, the more you earn, the more you burn, which brings you back to where you started. This brings us to the next question. How to escape the rat race? There is a simple answer to this complex question. Financial literacy. To achieve your freedom, you need to change your mindset about your relationship with money. To start, you must balance your value creation, income, with your consumption, expenses. Saving more and spending less is the key. This can be done by creating a budget and sticking firmly to it. Try to minimize your consumption and live within your means. It means that you should prioritize your life over your lifestyle. You should spend money on essential things. But why buy extra shoes, clothes, gadgets, etc., when you know you can save that money and invest in other financial areas? I know that this is easier said than done, but boy, do I have a trick for you. Assume you are considering purchasing an extra pair of those $150 sneakers. Now, instead of measuring the value of your purchase in currency, measure its value in time. If you're making $25 an hour, the value of your purchase will be six hours. With this trick, you can make a better decision on the purchase. It would be extremely beneficial if you could limit the social influence over you. Be content. You don't need to spend money on commodities or services simply because others are doing so, especially when you know it's not currently essential for you. Build your wealth by investing in assets real estate, or starting a business. The key message here is to create assets, not liabilities. Increasing your income streams and reducing expenses is vital to your financial success. Finally, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and other well-known entrepreneurs today increase their value creation by discovering a problem and creating a solution to it. 
increase your value creation, and skyrocket your income. You need to find a problem and offer a solution to it. This is an entrepreneurial mindset. I know what you might be thinking. Not everyone can own a business. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Instead, you should focus on your abilities or skill building, which can be productive in creating a solution. The goal is to create value. The most essential piece of advice for escaping the rat race is to persevere. One of the greatest gifts you can give yourself and your family is to escape the rat race. However, this requires a large number of small, consistent actions over time. Always prioritize progress over perfection. Any progress, no matter how small, is progress nonetheless. It is really difficult for me to address every point in just one video, so stay tuned for a series of videos on escaping the rat race. I'll share real-life stories of people who have done it and how they did it. To be brutally honest with you, there is no magical one-size-fits-all solution. What may have worked for someone else may not work for you. But more than anything else, it is the mindset. And if you have stuck with this video so far, that is proof you're ready for change. At the end, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let us know what topic you would like to watch next.